I thought it'd be a pretty fun idea to just kind of do a reaction video as if you were here with me watching this uh, new 50 minutes of footage we get with the GT. I've ridden with the best of them. I've placed top 10 in a decent few races that have come up the, within the last year. Um, I do a lot of tricks with the one wheel, so I know both ends of stability of kind of trick riding as well as is the aggressiveness of trail riding and pushing the absolute top speed you can while hitting the most gnarliest terrain. Uh, and so I'm going to give you a little bit of my opinion and my first glance thoughts when I'm watching this video. Let's get right to it. All right, my Mac's going to be displaying the video I'll be reacting to. I'll be mirroring it right here. And then you'll be watching the main video with me kind of a smaller person over here reacting to the footage. I'm starting off at the Future Motion headquarters and um, it's going to be an adventure ride. This isn't a range test. This is not a speed test. So far, um, it looks like the tire looks a little bit more rounded. Ride I would probably look at it more like this friggin' board and have a great time. Almost and like the, be able to provide some. It almost looks like very, you know, beneficial. I can't, I can't. It's like on the tip of my tongue. The team back at headquarters. Like the Trail Pro rides, um, but a tiny bit more rounded. Good stuff. Uh, so on this ride, I'm gonna start off with some hills. I think it's kind it of- It looks really nice. Ride. Like I like the profile of it. Can this handle the hills? It totally can handle the hills. And just you wait. Um, this ride, I do over 1300 feet of elevation gain. In five so far with miles. the, when, he, when they're riding on the street, I can't yeah, really get much out of it. If, if what, I'm, what I'm noticing is he's not doing a whole lot of carving at means, like a little bit of higher speed. That's a lot of climbing for five miles. Um, He's not doing any carving at all, is what I'm noticing. And I'm super surprised at it. And we're actually coming up on the first, the steepest part of the entire... Yeah, there's a little bit of carving. <laughs> this street that we're about to go up averages 12%. But I love that profile. It looks really cool. Mile. So, uh, I was a little worried about I was hoping they did some kind of like steep, different uh, style of rails. Kind of like I'm sold on those cold, WTFs, um, just how they ride, so it's going to be tough to being forced to ride flat rails again to get whatever benefits I get out of the GT. A uh, device like this. So, yeah, we're just cruising right now. I've hit pushback. I, I wouldn't say so 16 plus is super fast. Maybe for like right. the average rider, it's, it's like a little bit faster cruising pace. A lot because and I'm noticing he's not doing much carving at all, making me think this, this tire is not as stable as the I, Vega I, was. I'm, very because you can really torque it and carve it at higher time. speeds, but he's just kind of really like just riding the straight line, maybe a tiny carves. So it's really making me think the profile is really much more rounded than usual. And uh, but I'm almost I'm also thinking they went so hard with stability with the Vega. I don't think they would make a truly super rounded tire right after going so hardcore about being that Vega was their favorite tire. Going super fast, like. Definitely 16 plus and yeah, it scares me him saying he's going super fast 16 plus something like is something I would super fast 18 plus maybe I would have been like all right That means pushbacks not hitting yet. And this but, road is a little bit tough. You see those cracks there. So I got a little wobbly um, But anyway, well, um, so the pushback some the modern community is, would be like hey, that's already been out They, they uh, stole it what it does and but, that kind of is coming from feedback from me what are you gonna know, do? I'm riding this board and I'm taking it out and uh we're able to bring it back in and I'll be like, you know, it was hit here, but maybe like, uh, maybe we, we work around this and it's so cool to be part of that, that process, um, to dial in the ride, the feel of this board. Um, it's, it's really awesome. And, uh, it's a, it's a great honor and privilege. Let's be honest. Um, right there, I am rocking the love hump foot pad oh my gosh um i am so stoked on love hub it that's actually like the og prototype love hub um and i yeah, just, just look at it it so looks beautiful because, though i'm not gonna lie uh, it was a, it actually looks like yeah we were talking about how like a true board people aren't gonna be like did you make that a little bit more of an ergonomic feel on the get that all the time like pad. put in the comments below so how many times people ask you if you made in your one wheel better like how far does it go how fast does it go and how long does it last you need to do to achieve that you're falling off of it <laughs> uh, 
I kind of have this theory where you know, the thing's beautiful is great, especially. And I wish the way it, rails were a little more WTF bent. Like I'm spoiled with the WTFs now. I, I'm not gonna lie. No ad. Like yeah, I know I write for the foot lights, just not for some people. But I think in general, people realize that it gives you more control, more grip, uh, more confidence being on a board. And with the love hump, what that really does is it's it sits can't really your foot. so whether you can't really talk about the elevation when you're on the street though feet, i'm like, not gonna lie it may like the trail riders will will attest uh, like and i will say I when we see him do like forever, look to right, the right if he's going up that grass hill more and talking about it maybe uh, overall, but just going up like a and love to take turns really fast going up pavement where you have full amount of grip comfortable taking toe side turns on a one wheel than i do Utilizing the look at the hill next to him. I want to see him go up that and then hump. talk about you torque, get right? This support like, when you I know you agree with me. And you're turning with your uh, the ball of your foot. And I, you get the slow the incline versus like this climb. immediate uh, kind of like yeah, incline like this, so like where you have to get a lot of speed and throw, kind of throw your weight up. Because I'm cruising. I'm on a main road right now. I'm cruising. Um, the love hump really allows you thing to I know what I'm looking for though is when he's getting going really slow maneuvers and how's this stability kind of inspired by so with something like the whisper or something that's really wound, rounded you have you you have to kind of rock back and forth it's not going to be that stable because like the the surface area is smaller on something like a rounded tire to where you're like always on an edge that goes across the wide point and uh I've always found that like being Look at that push back. being on <laughs> like that, <he's laughs> what? A lot more control. Oh, I mean, maybe he was just breaking. Uh, I think he was just breaking. Yeah, the, we all just like. I don't know. Up. Like he's going he's downhill. Down it looks like he's getting pushed back. Cutting up pieces. Of They're still dialing in. Is what material I'm to put on a foot pad, and and now it's a real thing, and I am stoked on it. I'm stoked for everybody to get out there and, and that wants it or gets a love hump to ride it hear their feedback right, he talks about squirreling us to the white line that does happen the social but it, it still worries me a little bit about like the roundedness of the tire because some people like really really rounded tires i like a little bit more stability because i really like to push into the cars and with a really rounded tire it gets squirrely when you try to carve it too fast and too hard a very very a fairly steep hill um that dude's walking his bike because this hill is too much for him. Would not be riding this fast on any other board, um, especially up a hill. So this, like, I am relaxed and feeling confident. So yeah, uh, there is some like marriage there. So if you're like pushing it up a hill, I you'll feel the nose dip. Felt like you'll lose a little torque and it'll almost cause a nose dip. dive. It wasn't enough. Uh, there are times at like a pretty high speed for being sideways on a board. Uh, and being on one wheel. So uh, I really love the fact that uh, pushback is kicking in where it was at. Uh, for me, it was hitting about 19 and a half miles an hour. And I think that's perfect. Um, that's a huge still, improvement. We're still testing some things. That's a huge improvement. I cut that because I aired down my tire. Had to get uh, get the tire. He kind of glossed inside. over it, but what he said there is the pushback hit about 19 and a half miles an hour. Especially, it rained a lot. Uh, that would be huge if it's not too much to where you can't keep pushing it. Because when you're trail racing at like a higher level, there's there's different tiers, right? If you're just chilling, enjoying yourself on the one wheel. And, uh, yeah, uh, just, like, you're not really pushing yourself too hard, you're just hit enjoying it. Side Hitting pushback at 19 and a half, that's hill. totally fine. That's and, like a uh, great spot. It's pretty dang impressive. As long as it doesn't stop pretty you totally. Dang but impressive. what you're doing when you're so, riding, when you're racing, tread a tire at the highest speed. level you can race um, with the best riders, the you're riding at like 25 to 30, the, uh, depending on the, the decline gives you more speed. Front, and front you're generally this pushing much. past the pushback. Right? This is like always been a dream. But if the pushback's to too to hard, I, I, that I means really you're pushing too hard that. through it, making it less stable at higher speeds, making it more Two gnarly. More so you might and, uh, be forced to race at like 22. It's, it's where it's at. It might actually you know, be lowering you your top, top, top I speed. Prefer to ride with my back foot closer to the tire. It allows me to have more control of the board um, and ultimately with that love hump it's like 
you, you're fully in, in control of this board unless you... My gut feeling is saying it's a really intense pushback at 19 and a half. Said, it's really difficult to push back or but really difficult to push past, there. And it's really nice which would be a huge bummer security. for all the racers cool. out there who are just trying to like, hit, like, maximize the board the trail, and maximize its potential. Um, where the tire gets like bucked a little bit and you get shot forward. The front concave is beautiful for that because it, it, it allows you to like kind of have that extra security of catching you um, if you do like have one of those moments off-road, which you're going to, going to have that or you've had it if you ride a lot. Um, and then the grip tape. I mean, super coarse grip tape, which is Fault Life already makes uh, very good even, coarse grip tape. I think the first thing people would like, also probably say. Some is like, people say the community is basically, this is just the combination of all the mods, but see, already get, made on the board. Not like really muddy, but I got to go some, through some stuff. And, um, you know, that's the case for the fender. You'll see how dirty my shoes get, and that would be why you want a fender on. So there's my... There's my marketing for the, yeah. A lot of us, uh, you know, just like, case use. Um, but no, pretty I'm much everyone on the full ride team without a don't ride with the fender. I ride one with the fender without just fender. It, like okay. like you said, like if it's really really wet, you don't want uh, without a fender, really wet shoes and legs. But for the most part, I don't ride. I like it. It, it feels sleeker and it feels more like pure say, like, without the, the fender on and everything. Or you things can get caught up in there. Um, Definitely, if it's, if it's I like what I see so far. It looks nice and nimble. Like, like it looks like he's tires. he's chilling on the trails. I feel more connected to the board in a way. But yeah, I'm just I'm just cruising up here on this Friar Road right now, and uh, I tried to get. I, I was like, on your left, on your left, and the guy just was too busy telling a story to his friends. Um, so far, so, I think yeah, this fun, is fun, really uphill, and he's like cruising pretty. Hardcore. So one thing I think, uh, I really do think about this, is it's going to be more torquey. More torquey than an extended range battery in your board, like a JWXR or CBXR. Because I think they built a controller that understands how to drive more current to the motor. I'm no scientist here, but I think at the very least it's going to have more power than what we've seen so far with all our mods. Hopefully is what I'm saying. Because the, the they have control of all the circuitry and all the electronics the inside it, that I have which is, you know, the mods, you know, we have control of that. All we can do is mod one piece. I'm going to get the love hump. I'm going to have the treaded tire. And, uh, you know, I'll have the fender for, for, those, for those times. But this is it. Maybe, definitely some rail guards. Clear rail guards for sure. Uh, you want to keep that thing crisp. I kind of like it's like I, on my mountain bike and stuff. I put ride wrap, which protects the the frame. Um, it's just always it's a good thing to do. You know, you invest money on, in a product and you want to keep it uh, as fresh as you possibly can. Um, but let's see. Oof. Yeah. So again, not a range test, folks. Not a speed test. I did start this ride on a hundred percent battery and. After we're done, I think I was at 35%. So 12 and a half miles and 35%. What I would have personally liked to see was that like, put I'm not like one of their sponsored riders on it, like Dom or Noah, seeing, like, because they would have rode really fast and really like, tried to push it. Like, this is you know, the demographic just isn't just like cruising, you know, trying to keep that momentum hardcore time. riders. It's everybody, yeah, except for, you know, and so they wanted to like do something to yeah. where, you know, and, uh, it down. appeals to it's every sort of rider here. Uh, lost the edge right for me, I'm looking at it at a standpoint of like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like. high performance, yeah, right? That get me super What's the maximum down. potential yeah, that we can get on the board? Because that's what always always where I'm at, living on that edge. Just you know, that's where I get that, that flow state where I'm like super stoked, have, have flowing hard, reaction time to really excited. Off, run it out. I'm personally not but looking for a board just for tricks. Most I'm also, I'm, I'm actually more on the end of I heard some trails, even though I love doing tricks on my board, but when I feel truly at one with the board is when I'm on the trails, crushing, flowing, feeling good. You know what? To each kind of the same thing with rock climbing when I'm at my, my true I'm zone. Always like on, I'm always on the edge, you know? It's like you're, you're on a single... If you've been following it, obviously you've seen like I did rock climbing well happen. before I found one wheel. It happens um, I just took a little bit of a break from it, I'll be getting back to it. You know, if this wheel goes in this divot, 
that's it. It does look like so quite a rounded tire. How it is. Um, see when you would ride down it like this right here. Usually I'm setting myself up to go over, they have like these little like speed humps in a way. Um, and I'm setting myself up to go over one of those, but now there's a basically a little pond in the middle of the trail. And uh, what I was saying right there is don't ride through that. Don't ever ride through big things of water like that. Um, it, we're definitely confident in, in our products, but like that's just silly if you ride through stuff like that. Um, it's an electronic at the end of the day. These things uh, are water resistant, but like don't go, you know, trying to ride through a foot of water. That's just, that's just silly. that. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit of a bummer that yes, this is, we were really hoping that the waterproofing was going to be the next level. Like, hey, downhill. we made it bomb proof and, uh, because there's something called badgering that you can do to your board that will make it mostly, you know, waterproof. Like, you can pretty much submerge it at that point. But it sounds like they didn't really improve that too much. Maybe it's like closer to where the pint was to where like you, you can submerge it a decent bit. It's, it's going to rust and stuff, but it's not going to immediately break like an XR usually would. Kind of took my time. But it does look like he's going pretty, pretty fast here. I think he's finally going downhill and he's... My feet were definitely... I'm not in my one... He's cruising. Like... I feel like summer is usually my one of my best one. It looks like he's doing like 19-ish, maybe more. We've been focus on launching some products it so feels it's like haven't been going out for long rides lately and that's okay but and with how straight he was riding in the pavement this. it's nice to see that he's tire. he's he's moving around he's carving a bit awesome he's that flying is. like but, he's uh, looking pretty stable to keep my composure keep my line especially like but this thing makes it so easy to feel so comfortable that that tire is just like it's good. I mean, it looks so far. I mean, like, impressive to me the run he just did there, which is promising. Is the word I was looking for. This tire is really nice, especially when you air down a little. And I like the way the tire like looks on the camera. It's got that like that effect when it's moving so fast, where you can see the little lines kind of like slowly going by. It almost looks like they're standing still. It's a beautiful looking board. So we're still cruising. I mean, a half hour in. I keep talking to it, you. What it looks like it's doing is it's making it more comfortable to ride at 20 YouTube channel. without fear uh, versus in the past when you're around 20, you're a little scared, right? Like, because you're like past so pushback, you're like, YouTube channel. it's a little bit wonky. Notification so you get ringed when we have videos. Um, we're really excited for what's to come when these products get in people's hands and y'all can really you know, just experience this because as far as I know, I'm really like the only person that's kind of... So he's about to hit another big downhill? Taking it this far, you know, and like really done proper, proper rides. Um, and <laughs> it does look like it's doing this I though. I can't wait to see what people do. Like race for the rail next year. My gosh, it's going to be sick. Um, but... That will be nice, this though. A saucy the section. very least, race for the rail. Like, little people will have a better section. board for that experience. Kind of like, it's just in and out. You know, it's these like tire rides. But if the pushback is too crazy, it could be a little nuts when it comes to stretch. riding past it. Oh, little skirt. I didn't make it last year. I had yeah. some tough runs. And it's just like there's no doubt in the effort that like you you just go, you point it, and it goes. And it feels so awesome to have that power and that torque and be able to achieve like the acceleration that you can. Um, and something that's only going to get better. I noticed what he was saying from like a previous in the video is like you have more torque at the higher speeds. Going to improve. I'm that's super pretty exciting because usually uh, being you notice more of the torque at the lower like end, right? When you slow down on an uphill or something like that. Marketing to you because I work for the company. Uh, I'm being real here. This is like a, this is a legitimate. Uh, All right, so we're gonna stop there. Uh, it's too long of a video to like 
commentate pretty much everything, but I feel like I'm in a good place to give my, my first thoughts. I think it's going to be a better, much better item. I think if, at the very least, it's gonna be all the mods that we've seen combined into one at a lower price. I would never discredit any of these modders either, but it, it's always a risk to mod your board. I mean, I'm sponsored by JW and I ride with a JW battery in my board. I've had no issues with it, but people just have had issues with trying to install the battery. It can be a pricey upgrade, but with this new board, you're gonna have all the stuff already in there. It's not gonna go quite as far as a JW battery would, but it's almost gonna get you there and you don't have to open your battery, your board up. Uh, so that's, that's, a, that's a great win right there, as well as the extra torque. It sounds like they had built their circuitry to where it can handle the extra torque you get from your, your um, extended range battery, which would help with all the uphills. Uh, and it sounds like you'll have a little bit more torque on the higher speeds, which means like if you're already at a higher speed and you need to accelerate a little bit, the nose won't just give out on you. It'll actually like, hopefully, that would be really cool. So if you're at like 16 and you want to get up to 19 kind of quickly, it, you, you can lean into it a little bit, be a little more aggressive and it'll get you there versus like the nose kind of dipping, you have to kind of snap back. Uh, like when you're racing or like you're trying to catch up to a friend or something like that. I'm thinking um, the, the tire profile looks very round, but it looks like he was able to stay stable enough. Um, I know uh, Adam Laser, I think that's his name, uh, is a, a fairly experienced rider, but he's not an advanced rider by any means. And, um, and it still th seemed like he was fine. He didn't really ever fall off his board and he, he hit some gnarlier stuff. He went off, off the line a little bit to take some fun routes and he seemed okay. Uh, waterproofing doesn't seem to be a thing. It seems like they still want you to stay out of the water with the board, which is kind of a bummer. I, sometimes some of these races, you have, you're have you forced to race in the wet and in the rain and in puddles and stuff. And um, and that can mess up your board. And so it would just be nice to be able to, or like, let's say you get rained on and you're on a group ride and it just pours on you. It'd be nice to just be able to ride at home. And then when it comes to pushback, it, it looks like, the pushback's gonna start a little bit later, but it might be a little bit more aggressive. So he said that it's gonna be between the Pint and the XR. Racing might be tough with it because then you're pushing against that pretty hard to get beyond that point, and then it might be pretty tough to keep it there before you know losing it or like you know uh, wobbling out or something like that. Are we gonna be able to ride comfortably with the pushback? Or is it just gonna be, hey, at 22 miles an hour, you're done? Like, you cannot go any faster than that. I don't know, I don't know. Like, I think in the end, the board looks pretty good. Wish it had rails that were a little bit more of an interesting profile. Uh, the tire looks cool. It looks like a, a kind of a weird shape and they like made the hub bigger so that no other tires are gonna fit on it. But in the end, uh, I think it was a big step up. I'm glad they made something new. I'm glad they like streamlined a lot of stuff. I just really hope it's that what we want, right? And that that pushback is in the right place that we need it so that we can really truly enjoy this board and truly get out there and just be in a state of flow and not get interrupted. And us racers out there can really enjoy racing unhinged and just be able to enjoy that experience. So let's see the souped up modded board against the GT, wait for it. My GT is coming late January. We're gonna have an episode drop right when it does. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. It's a lot of talking, but I think it was fun, so you guys have a good one.